Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I've made the trip down to Devon to see Holly and Adam. So you guys, uh, I met Holly based through work. So anyone that hasn't heard of Cups on Cows, how many followers do you have on Instagram? Uh, I think, <laughs> no, 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 about like just over 7,000. Yeah, yeah. Really good account. Anyone interested in dairy and like rearing young stock, really, really interesting. Adam, you've been in the sector for 20 plus years and yep. you've been all over the world too, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yeah, yeah, New Zealand, America. Yeah. yeah. Canada? A bit of Canada, yeah. A lot <laughs> further than I've ever been. So we're gonna take a look around the farm and all the amazing stock as you can see behind me. So I hope you enjoy it guys. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoy. Adam Atkinson, farm manager here at Colston Farm. Um, 600 organic spring block carbon cows, Kiwi Cross. Carbon to spring, nine weeks from February onwards. Uh, currently in the middle of mating season. My background has always been dairy, born and bred dairy, um, ranging from sort of 100 cows up to 11,000 cows in America, been to New Zealand, uh, worked for a breeding company, um, been doing some consultancy as well now. Um, but always, you know, passion's been dairy. And, uh, now very much focused on grass-based dairy. Um, so we, here we're sort of 5,000 litres sold with 83% of that coming from grass. Um, so very low input, All our, the whole focus is on growing grass. Um, so hence we carve in the spring as the, as the grass starts growing so we can maximise intake from grass there. Um, I'm Holly Atkinson. Um, so I'm a qualified vet, um, I met um, Adam, I was one of the vets on the farm where we were working at the time. The last two and a half years have been doing calf rearing um, as well, so we rear about, between, depending on the year, 150 to 200 dairy heifer replacements um, and they're Kiwi Cross. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, this is Casey, <laughs> he's fast asleep at the moment. <laughs> So do you want to talk me through a bit about the grazing system that you have here because it's very um, low input. Yeah, so it's all about trying to convert the grass into milk with as yeah. little other uh, supplement as possible. So we're measuring all the paddocks weekly with a plate meter. It goes onto a computer program so we know exactly what food is on the farm and then we can allocate that for these cows yeah. so the majority of their diet is grass. Um, if we haven't got enough grass then we can supplement with yeah. silage or cake. Uh, if we've got too much, then we can make some yeah. silage or something then. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, but it's all focused on grass. So yeah, our key yeah. is to grow quality grass, make sure um, they have enough to produce what, they, what we can from grass, don't we, really? And luckily, being here, like in southern England, like we are grazing 10 months a year. Yeah, so yeah. our winters are mild, the grass still grows to a point. So we, we, we can house all the stock. Um, but we house for like two months a year. Yeah. And uh, Maximum, we'll, yeah. yeah, we'll start carving in the sheds, but by March they were carving yeah, outside yeah. again, we? So. Well, you've got plenty of grass, but I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously the infrastructure, all the cow tracks and the water troughs means we can get cows out, you know, 300 days yeah, of the year. Yeah. This is this is the whole herd in one group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just short 600 cows in here. Um, and because we carve, like in a nine, ten week period, we can manage it all as one yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. So if you're carving over a big period, you'd have to, yes, there's too much variation yeah. in the stage lactation. We're along, being coastal, uh, we're kind of, we don't have much land or opportunity yeah, that yeah. way, but we are a long, thin farm. Yeah, yeah. So they do a lot of walking. So we can walk um, sort of two and a half, three K each way from the dairy. That's where the breeding's key, really, yeah. isn't it? With a I good suppose feet. with feet, yeah. 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 yeah, we'll average four to five K a day. Um, we try and do the longer walks in, at nights, so yeah. for a longer time up there. 
Um, we do have a couple of cows with GPS collars on, so we okay. can just watch how much they're walking. Um, but the key is the right animal for the system, you know. Yeah. This sort of Kiwi cross, bit of Frisians cross Jersey, um, New Zealand genetics, they just do it, don't they, trouble free, yeah, yeah. get in calf, mm -hmm. go and eat grass. They're um, phenomenal grazers, aren't they? I don't think these would want to be put in a shed. Um, heifers in here so they were born February last year they've just been um, we've been breeding them for the last two weeks and the bulls have gone in today we've got some Hereford bulls so we've been AIing them um, to Jersey cross regions um, they are Kiwi crosses um, so um, NZ genetics and um, we use um, LIC and CRV um, so we're breeding them for so the Jersey aspect for the milk solids and then the Frisian aspect um, for their capacity. So basically they're phenomenal grazers. Um, they've, um, they were weaned at about 12 weeks of age and then they've pretty much been on grass ever since, barely any concentrates. Um, yeah, they're a friendly bunch and they'll be calving in next spring and join the milking herd. So guys, we have gone away from where we were at the heifers earlier, haven't we? Yeah. And obviously now, as you can see, it is milking time. I, for one, have never milked a cow, yeah. and I thought it'd be really interesting to come out and look how we've done. So this is a 48 aside parlour, isn't it? 48.96, yeah, yeah. Uh, milk 48 in one go, and then yeah. clusters go over the other side yeah. and milk the other 48. That's yeah. mad. Like, any other power at college or anything, the biggest I've ever seen is 20. Okay, this yeah, yeah. This is double the size of anything I've ever seen. All the cows are so chill too, like, yeah. none of them are what, stressed at all, it's great to see. Yeah, they happily come in and yeah. just uh, we're just saying a little bit of bribery, a little bit of concentrate yeah. um, that they feed and just to keep them happy whilst they're being yeah, milked. Um, but they, they know they're creatures of habit, so they'll yeah, come yeah. in twice a day to be milked and they'll be waiting at the gate often to come. Oh well, yeah, they were, they were waiting at yeah, the gate, yeah. 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 So they, yeah, they know, they're creatures of habit and they know when they need to be milked because it relieves them as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, so this here, this is where all the milk goes. So as you can see, all the clusters are going on, all the milk and stuff before them on. I'm just getting in the way. Yeah, all the milk comes up along here and into here, and I think it goes into the bulk tank. <laughs> and then you get weed on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that was very exciting. I just milked my first cow, so I wasn't overly quick, but I could see how sort of, sort of 20 years makes it look so easy. And then when you <laughs> yeah. do it yourself, it's all... It's a bit, yeah, you've yeah. got to get used to it. It's practice, definitely. That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right guys, so that is us all done for today. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Adam and Holly for having me. It's great to see how New Zealand systems can be implemented in the UK, especially with the low input grass and organic farms. So it's completely different to anywhere else I've been before. So again, a massive thank you. What was your Instagram again? Uh, Cups on Pounds. So go give Holly a follow. And again, guys, <laughs> thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and do I say bye-bye? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>